The majority of homes in the U.S. have asphalt roofing shingles, and when they need to be replaced, it's estimated it'll produce 11 million tons of waste. Tonight, TV6's Houghton Hancock Bureau reporter Gabrielle Mays has an up-close look at how that waste is being reduced and recycled. Within almost a year and a half, Craig Marley has collected 392 tons of roof shingles. Believe it or not, the shingles off your roof can be recycled and turned into asphalt. Everything is 100% recycled, so none of it's ending up in a landfill anywhere, and it's cheaper. Um, uh, I, the going rate is... Um, quite substantially more to take and just throw it away, whereas the $47 a ton charge here basically just goes for the shipping to the, the processing facility and the uh, paperwork that I have to maintain. Before the shingles can be dumped into this large pile, they first have to be weighed. Every shingle must be clean, free from construction debris, but nails and tar paper are accepted. Shingles are made up of 20 to 25 percent asphalt, and once they're crushed and then mixed, they're turned into the highways you and I drive on a daily basis. And these shingles will eventually make their way to Pitlick and Wick in Eagle River, Wisconsin. We collect the shingles at our um, collection facility, and we have a special machine that comes in and grinds the shingles down to about a half inch in size, and then we can recycle them back into um, hot mix asphalt. With a constant drop-off of roof shingles at Rockwood Concepts, you just might end up traveling on a road made out of them. Gabrielle Mays, TV6 News, Mohawk.